Time for the Team Galaxy podcast. You got an amazing Spider Man here. Yeah, Reese here. Jordan. They're all out of commission. Well, close out of commission, so. You know, you know, the Jenkins or. This is what you got here. We're going to talk about the string of bad to good super American superhero films from early 2000s to now. And. I guess they didn't follow the 90s so well because the 90s had a string of good movies. I mean, they had the bad ones, but you just, you just, I, I don't know what happened. I think uh, the first bad movie to set it off in the early 2000s was maybe the X Men movie. Mm. It was really, really? terrible. Yes, yeah, it was bad. Like, people was looking forward to X Men. That's not fair. Mm-hmm. Okay. It was bad. You hear X Men movies. Back in 99, it was Mystery Men, and maybe that set it off. But right. Ben Stiller doesn't make good movies. Ben Stiller never makes good movies. Who thought Ben Stiller made good movies? Ben Stiller thinks Ben Stiller makes good movies. <laughs> I think Marvel I think Marvel kind of bounced back from the fucking I mean ninety seven was really bad. They had Batman and Robin, Spawn and Steel. Wait, wait hold on, please. Chris we already Robin. had a video about that. Can we not talk about Batman and Robin, please? He's at the top of his career. Who? Shut the fuck up. Top of his career, the career. last of his career. career please. Okay, yeah. Blade came out in '98, which was really good for mm-hmm. its time, mm-hmm. and then it was just a string of just terrible movies. Did you say Wesley rebooted the comic book franchise? Just him alone? I don't think so. Okay, damn. Wesley did Superman, good. Superman would be a part of that. Thing. No, but that's which which Superman? Superman returns? No, Christopher Reeves. Because Blade would be, if you say he revolutionized the comic book genre, so, that, that means Christmas. any comic book movie up to 2008 when Blade came out? Blade came out in 99. 98. Okay. In 98. 2008. Mm-hmm. When it came out. Anything prior to that was null and void. This is the comic book genre. If you look, if you look at the 90s. Anything else but, but before that was bullshit. If you look at the 90s. I would Can't think that they have would, a I'm lot not more not bad either. movies mm-hmm. than good movies if you look at it now. I okay. mean, you start from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, mm-hmm. that came out in 93, to maybe Meteor Man and then The Crow. Alright, let's just say The Crow in 94, right? Then Blank Man, The Shadow, then The Mask. Uh, they were okay movies, alright? So. Batman Forever came up, then Judge Dredd, Tank Girl, Power Rangers movie. Bad, bad, good, but... Barbed Wire, you know? The Phantom. Ah, oh, bad, bad. Yeah, so... The, the guy in the purple suit? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, Ken. That's what I was the saying. The guy that was like Emil Yeah, that guy. Yeah, oh my God. Listen, that's what I was saying. You gotta have that bad... Build up to get to some great shit. You shouldn't have to. If you look at source material, you should never have a bad. I understand what you under. I understand what you're saying about source material, but we can't get into that right now. We can't. Back in those era, we didn't care about source material. We're still in our early teens, so it's just like anything could be good at that point, which would seem bad. Like Judge Dredd was probably a decent movie back in like. It was a very decent movie. No, no. Back in '94, no, 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 wasn't. No, wasn't. No, wasn't. No, wasn't. Because I had the opportunity I to either see my, my big cousin or my big play cousin, as you know, because my mom had a friend who was like a sister and her children were my cousin, kind of sort of, whatever. I he took me to go see Power Rangers. Now, I already saw Power Rangers with my father, but he was like, you know, I'm going to go see Power Rangers. You want to go see the Power Rangers movie over Judge Dredd? And I wanted to see Power Rangers movie over Judge Dredd. And then we peeked in and see Judge Dredd, and that shit was, that shit was bad. Excuse me. 
listeners with my iPhone. Listen, but still, it's like back in like I, I really you could you couldn't really comprehend what was a terrible movie or not back in like ninety four. Right. Watching it when you're younger, I but I mean you know, that was pretty smart. We watched the movie recently, fairly recently. We we understand the movie now. Can Just you like still you say it's a bad movie? What, Judge Dredd? Yes. It's bad. It's pretty fucking terrible. It's a bad movie, yeah. <laughs> no, not so bad. Yes. Don't do that Sly too. Stone makes a bad movie. Sly, <laughs> Sly Stallone and fucking Rob Snyder don't make the... Don't do it. Rob Snyder makes awful movies. I'm he does make awful, awful movies. Awful. But when you go into the, but when you go into the 2000s, Rick, right? Who's Bigelow? Mel Gigolo. Oh, the one who was a fucking... Gigolo. Who was the one who was a... Whatever, whatever. No. Okay, when you go into the 2000s, Gigolo. and yeah, you yeah, finally yeah. see... Yeah, and you finally see the first X-Men movie, what did you really think of it? I saw it on bootleg, so I don't know what to tell you. I thought it was fucking bad, in my opinion. I, I thought it, it wasn't very, like, you know, oh, here it is, this is fucking, you know, X-Men. But it had to be that because it, it's the X-Men, the first but time. But it wasn't as... Live right. action, and it opens up with... I guess, Did it open up with Wolverine? It didn't like... It did open up with Wolverine. He was in a bar. Yeah. In a fucking room. And, then, and I wasn't as excited. He was a cage fighter. I was excited, for but some my reason. excitement was going down. <laughs> Whatever. You know how you excited you would get during the fucking X-Men fucking theme when you're a kid and it comes on a fucking Fox Kids. That shit gets you pumped up. That movie didn't do that for me. So you're saying, <laughs> so the better question is if they made the X-Men movie like the cartoon, the 92 cartoon, I just would it have been a, a better movie? I needed a little more excitement. Well, like a two hour long animated movie and shit? Like that. Well, it still be live action, but it would be loosely based off the show. The, the source material, huh? Come on. Don't, <laughs> let's not. No, we can't go to the source material. Please. Oh, please. please. Okay, if you, what, what source material wasn't in there? Like, Wolf, uh, like Saber 2 was like a lion in that movie? Yeah, Saber then, 2 was there. Maybe, maybe you can blame it on the fucking people that cast it. Casting? I'm going to say that the casting director fucked up. The, the people weren't, they didn't, they, they weren't. They I weren't like, the I like that Cyclops in it. I like James Martin in the Cyclops. Holly Berry and Storm, not no, so much. No, no, not as Storm. Yo, Patrick Stewart was the perfect Storm choice. choice. Not as anything. Right. He was the only choice. I feel as though Magneto was a little too old. Way too old, cause Magneto. Way old, way like for old. Super yeah. Jew, Super <laughs> Jew. You know, y'all, no racism in, implied in that, cause you know, I mean, I, I I understand what it sounds like, but he's Jewish. You know, he survived the Holocaust. You know, it's, you know. It's I want, the, I want the first class Magneto. But with the, like, just a little you know, gray. He's like, that one. he's like a Jewish superhero, although he's portrayed as a terrorist. He's not an actual terrorist. He's not evil. He's an anti-hero. He just wants liberation for his. People. He's a little bit of a terrorist. He's, yeah, like, he he does things that isn't viewed as a you know. We're not gonna get Magneto. We're not gonna get Magneto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric Lynch. I didn't like the way they portrayed Rogue. You didn't like Sookie Stackhouse as Rogue. No, you you make a bad Southern accent and then go on the show when you need a Southern accent and your Southern Diaries, accent is the last they can. Yeah, Vampire Diaries, it's True Blood, True Blood. Yeah, I don't watch that shit. Pretty fucking terrible, but yeah, it's pretty bad. I didn't like the Iceman. I didn't like Pyro. I didn't like. I didn't like. Uh, I didn't like the story. I didn't like the uniforms. Are saying they used the wrong X Men? Is that what you're saying? Would you rather have no? They like, like they X-Men used the movie? core X Men, but I didn't like the Pyro. Scheme of you there's knew no he beast. was gonna turn. There's no beast. There's beast in uh first class, but there's no beast in fucking. No, no, there were there was a beast in the last stand, but that, well, movie, was terrible. Terrible. Yeah, that movie was that terrible. That was pretty fucking terrible. Juggernaut but, was a mutant. We're not gonna talk about that right now. Brett Ratner. Brett Ratner. Yeah, thank you. Fucking rush hour. We Brett Ratner. Rush hour dude. Brett Ratner. We could watch it. No. No, no, no. Brett Ratner. Okay, no, so, so, so wait, so wait, so, so you get, so you get X-Men, right, and there's a big, depending on how you saw it as a letdown, I just thought the Toad scene with Storm was just, Oh my that God. wasn't Holly, real. Holly, she is so beautiful, but damn, she did not Then, then, the I guess the next major one was Unbreakable, so, that was pretty damn good as in the original, as the original, uh, That's actor? Super Bowl. Yeah. There's a bunch of things in between, but they don't really matter. And then Blade Two. My thing with Blade Two, Blade One was so good. Blade Two just so Blade Two was just so bad. Stop! Stop! I really? Stop. So 
the fucking poor CGI and in the beginning. There was CG where we didn't need to be CG. No, 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 Let me say this one. There's this particular scene that I always notice about this. He has the UV lights on him. He's fighting Anissa, the the ninja vampire. I'm pretty fucking mad. You remember that? He did like a kick. He did like a flying kick. They're going fast motion CG, which didn't need to happen. Yeah. And it was so CG. I, 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 I understand the story. I, like. I understand the story. There's a lot of things I didn't like. You know, some of the, the parts. There was two CG. It's like CG. CG. You didn't like the blood pack, huh? I don't know. No blood pack for you. No like fucking pre help when you fucking, uh, what's his name? Rob Perlman. Rob Perlman, yeah. No fucking Donnie Yen that didn't have to speak in English, but he died off screen, I yeah. think. He's, he's stronger in a lot of his other movies, but not in that. Yeah, if you take a Flashpoint, Donnie Yen, you probably going to be there. Flashpoint. <laughs> but it was rated the highest out of all the three Blades. Yeah, you're right. So and I, I, it might have made the most. I think it, it made the most out of so, all the Blades, so. But it was it's it's bad. bad. It was a bad. bad. That's a, it was a bad movie. Okay, then after that you got Spider Man, which was pretty pretty good. It was, was, it was, good. was good. He was refreshing for Spider Man. Thank you, my Thank man. You. Thank you. Thank you. It, it was it was refreshing to see him on the big screen because I took off school to see that mm-hmm. movie. But it too. was fucking. Hard, like once you watch thing. it again, it was really bad. Yeah, like. The no, because they played it on two. TNT a lot, and two I watched amazing. the cam. Two was good. Two, I liked two. Two's, I could watch two's in my top five of two, all time. That movie, oh my god! Then after cool. Spider Man, I guess if Marvel was on a good run, because they did Daredevil and yeah, there wasn't oh, Daredevil oh, wasn't that terrible. You don't have to like it, but it wasn't bad. You don't really do this. <laughs> and it was the first switch up in a uh, race. In a race in a story, right. and they came pin black. Change, yeah. uh, yeah. but, uh, Michael, Michael Clark, Michael Duncan, Clark. Duncan, Duncan, Michael Clark. Duncan. If you get past that, I mean, it, he wasn't I was past it. He wasn't really a bad kingpin, you know. He's so bald. I mean, I didn't like Ben Affleck as Daredevil or Jennifer Garner as Electra, but I like Ben Affleck as anything. Colin Farrell's bullseye. He, okay, cool, yeah. whatever. Colin Farrell. I mean, it's not Colin Farrell's fault. He's in a lot of bad movies, you guys. But that's another. It's not Colin Farrell's fault. He can't <laughs> act, but whatever. He's a good bullseye. He's just a good <laughs> I guess he he just. <laughs> he's a good bullseye. And then after that was X Men X Two oh. United, oh. which was a boring fucking movie. Was, but no, not for the first ten minutes. Nothing happened in that movie. Nothing happened in that movie. was so good. Nothing happened in that movie. 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 Nothing happened so they had Why one, they two, three, Brian, four, on, four, on, five. They had five straight movies. So, uh, of good movies? No, they weren't good, but they were. I have a the first ofs and I sequels. Does Brian? Zing, why do they keep getting Brian Singh to make these fucking X Men movies? Don't worry, they had Brett Ragnar to do the fucking third one. What's so. up with these? They doomed the X Men series. This is a fucking but thing about me, Cam. His resume. Didn't he direct a lot of good movies? Didn't he do? Good movies and wrote. He did fucking, Superman he wrote Returns. Fucking, uh, did he write for Dark Knight? Mm-hmm. Like the guy that wrote, 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 wrote Dark Knight? Hell no. That was Christopher Nolan. No, the, not Gordon. the director, the fucking writer. Of the David Gordon. It was Christopher Nolan and his brother. They both wrote on the fucking screenplay. He wrote a lot of good movies. He wrote First Class, I believe. Brian Singer? Yeah, okay. But he didn't direct He it. wrote. He wrote Man of Steel, I think. No, he didn't. Did, did he not? He could have. He could have. I don't want to look him I'm, up. But I'm, I'm saying pulling up right for you right now. <laughs> I'm saying his, his, his resume is not that bad for the movie to be that. You bad. making That's it enough. sound like Kakashi again, Rick? I told you about that. I, I told you. What? 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 what Kakashi? We never know. Could have not. No. He's gonna obey. What? What? What Dark Knight movie came? You talking about? What? Excuse my machine. The guy that directed uh, X Men Last Stand. He wrote first class. Gene, is there anybody behind you holding you up? No, he, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He didn't write that. He was uh, right, man. Of Steel. I apologize for that. Oh, okay. He wrote Superman Returns. Oh, that was funny. I will leave you out. So good. Yeah, There's a lot of people. I hear you. I'm sorry. I didn't even watch like, that like movie from beginning to end. No, I will not watch that fucking movie. You were falling asleep during that movie. That movie was so fucking boring. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Superman don't do shit in that movie. Somebody, you know, somebody gave that movie a hundred. Get the out of a hundred. 
terrible. What? Superman Returns, right? Terrible. Terrible. You sit there and you will fall asleep. Jeans. Gene in the house. There you go. Drones in the house. Somebody gave that movie a hundred out of hundred. You know that, right? That movie is so fucking boring. I swear to you. Wait, wasn't like five years old? Um, Mm -hmm. Dark Knight? Did Brian Zinger? No, X-Men. no, he, he definitely did it. I apologize for that. He wrote X Men, X Two, Superman Returns, X Men First Class, and he's writing Days of Future Past. So Brian Zinger. Yes. Okay, so that, that's the guy you get to make X Men. Apparently, that's the guy you have to get. I don't want that guy, but I guess that's the guy you that's have to get. The guy we got. <laughs> no, we can. no. And let me say but this: X Two was pretty terrible. Do you know why? They had the right fucking. He 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 wrote in Lady Deathstrike the way he did. That was a, that was a, the way Mystique was. Nice. And Mystique wasn't that bad. I didn't like how she looked though. Yeah, That's all it was. She didn't look like, but Mystique. she didn't be like the. I understand. But whatever. whatever. Yeah, the yeah, guy yeah, with yeah. the iron and his body, but he didn't come up with a metal detector, but man, he was sucking it. I, I, I don't know. Metal detector. I don't, I don't know. And then the way Jean Grey sacrificed herself, it was just... It was just the just, movie was just, directed terribly. I understand that, but right. Right. Then the Hulk came out, and I think that killed Marvel for... That was the first one, or the second one? The first Hulk movie. Past, present, and future. Ang Lee. Ang Lee. What was that? That's when he was fighting Thunderclouds and the, yeah, jumping he was through. in the cave for half the movie and just yelling at yeah. fucking. Yeah, Banner. God rest his soul. He's not dead. But. <laughs> you know, I'd say, wait, what? He's not dead, but he, he came out with Hannah. I mean, oh, was, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Wasn't right. he in Black Hawk now? Yeah, was that before was. or after? That was before. Hulk. Eric Banner. That was before the Hulk. That was. It could have been after the Hulk. Black Hawk now. Yeah. He was in Black Hawk Down. Maybe. Black Hawk Down came out in fucking 2001, which was when did Hulk before the Hulk. So, right. yeah. Good for uh, good for him. But then after that, it was League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. So. Eric Banner was in that movie? No, that was a superhero movie. Remember Sean Connery? Yeah, but that movie wasn't... It was great the first time I saw it. Yeah. I'll get and it then it was fucking terrible, so... It was terrible. Good for him. I I remember who else was in that movie. Um, Shane West was in that movie, wasn't he? In what movie? Sean League Connery. Of, she, League of the Short and Air Oh, I don't know. I don't remember I that. I didn't see that I, movie, yo. Yeah, she, Serious? No. I had a gun. Maybe somebody put a gun to my head and made me forget it. But I didn't chick. see that movie. We can watch it. Mm-mm. Vampire chick, the fucking no, Re- no. Dorian no, Gray. Coming back to me. Dorian Gray. He has picture. Oh my god, no, 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 no. no, no they no, fought no. the best story, didn't it? Fucking uh, what's his name, Doctor Jekyll? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, no. You remember the movie? Oh, uh, yes. Captain Ahab was in the movie, wasn't he? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no. For a submarine, or he had some luxury submarine, some shit. He had he had all the resources. That was his job in that movie. It was still a bad movie, so we were not. So after that was Hellboy. So Hellboy was refreshing, I guess. It was nice to see Hellboy. It was different. Yeah, I appreciate how different it was because I'm not gonna say it was better than Blade, but it was he looked different from any <laughs> superhero. Something I've seen. And then, cool. at the Hellboy, which was alright, you got the Punisher. Thomas Jane, probably, one, probably the best Punisher, I guess. He Whatever. Was, he was good. And he was good. And it was just Walter, a bad was a good fucking movie. I mean, in front. Then you had, mm-hmm. had Spider Man 2. It was just, you know, it speaks for itself. That that's was, how you. That's that was how a you, great sequel. That that's was how, a, you, that's how you do a movie. Yeah, that's a good sequel. That's how you do a movie. I'm going to let you know that's how you do a fucking movie. Then wait, what was a good movie? Spider Man Two. That's how you do a movie. That's I'm movie sorry, movie. I missed out on the fucking moment. That movie was good, yo. See, you claim two, but you don't claim three. Three's my favorite one. I say two's the best one, but three's my favorite. It's just so 
fun to watch. It's just interesting. Can we get there? That's a pleasant Can we viewing get experience. No, it's that not. It's fucking, it's fucking a that terrible movie. That movie made a lot of That movie made a lot of fucking money. But Ooh, that movie Greece? was bad. That movie was bad. That movie was good, 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 and it was they terrible. Was, they just Eric rushed. Eric Foreman as Venom. Eric Foreman. Who cast? Who cast it? it? Eric Foreman. Same person that cast fucking Holly Berry and Stone. Same, same person. person. Same person. person that cast Holly Berry as fucking Catwoman. Same, same exact person. What a same. coincidence. Who is that nigga? Who is that? We'll find out. <laughs> then after that greatness, they come out with Catwoman. Oh, speak of the devil. And you just throw everything you just worked hard for. You just threw it. In I the didn't pay to see that, nor, nor did I want to see that. But <laughs> and then I did see it, and it was just like... Yeah, that was that was bad CG. Now you would say bad CG. You ain't gonna blame it on Blade too. You can blame it on that movie. It's just so many bad scenes. It just wasn't fair. The casting done on X Men was done by Roger Musenden. Musenden. M U S S E N D E N. For what movie? For X Men. And then the guy who did the casting for Catwoman. Give me a moment. Pokes my in the face so hard. You have no clue. So oh, you did, you didn't like the in fight with Catwoman with no Sharon I didn't Stone? like any part of that movie. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just any part. Her you job, didn't like, her daily life. You didn't like her different her name. Life, her costume and the leg in mm-hmm. CG. So John Cap. So you, Sidera, you mean you tell me you didn't like Catwoman. no part of that movie? <laughs> zero. Part, she not zero percent of that movie. I was interested. Zero percent. Zero, zero percent. Terrible. That was a very terrible movie. But, okay, then Blade Trinity came out after that, so. And I, uh, motherfucker. Motherfucker. I like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you gonna turn this fucking... Blade, this franchise you built, you built, you came out with a sequel, and then you come out with this fucking trilogy. This has to be amazing, and you just fuck it up. You turn it into a comedy. I like Blade. Blade. I like Blade Trinity. That's my favorite one. You no, Cam, you like it because it's bad. That shit was you terrible. Fuck you just. Fuck I like up. Wesley's attitude. He just no fucks were given. But he knew he was going to prison. He had. <laughs> this is my last chance. You think this is some kind of king? This is a joke. He gonna break the fuck out anyway. Wasn't that a part of the plane? I forgot my he's sword. He's a fucking... He's a... Head, the human head vampire. Ryan Reynolds. Anyway. Ryan Reynolds played Ryan Reynolds in that movie. Ryan Reynolds played Ryan Reynolds in every Seriously, scene. Seriously, guys. I'm going to put my okay. top down. Now, listen to this. I don't like Ryan Reynolds that much. Ryan Reynolds played the really same like character in Blade Trinity, Green Lantern, and fucking Wolverine Origins. How do you do that? So he didn't find a ring yet in Blade Trinity. If you want to put it together, he's a warrior for an person. Academy Award or Golden Globe, <laughs> but they said I don't know. What was he nominated for? For Barry? For a lot of movie. Barry. Barry was the only movie he didn't act like Ryan Reynolds. Like horror movie. Was it that Amityville Horror? Was it? Oh, it's well, terrible that, that movie. Man, Ryan Reynolds. That was a remake. That does not count. He was bad. That does not count. But he got any snacks. The he, best. Was he Ryan Reynolds? Yes. Dad? Until he got possessed, and then he turned into I mean, like a cake or <laughs> what his acting like coach wanted him to be. French fries. No. No. Yeah, he's a bad. He's a bad actor. Touch my whole French fries, and I even take a bite out of him. I need mean, no bikes camp. and no fucks with her. I just need a few because I am. I'm sorry. He's a terrible actor. I'm sorry. I don't but know. he played three different characters the same the way. same way. So he got three different checks. I, that's probably in the same day. He probably shot all those movies in the same day. Well, yeah. Oh, Electra <laughs> came. <laughs> listen, Electra <laughs> came out after that one, Ele- and I don't Neo. remember that movie. Seriously, <laughs> I remember there's like some ninjas in there, and then <laughs> give me one second to prepare my rank. Loaded rainbow wheel. That movie wasn't that bad. Okay. How dare you? <laughs> if I can't remember it, it must have been that bad. Jennifer Garner was, but but Jennifer Garner was also okay. Back then, back then, so you, so you don't use people. source material on the character, which who had to be Japanese at that point. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you will pull off as American. At least make make us make us. Not Jennifer. Wait, Garner. not Jennifer don't Garner. that moment. She's Japanese. 
Electra. Electra is Japanese. I'll portray as a Japanese American woman. You will portray. She might not be. What, Michelle, you. Michelle, no. you cannot be here. But listen, kind of old. Make it cute. No, she was kind of young. Hmm. But why would you get Jennifer Garner to do her? Because she was in Daredevil. You have to use the same actress. You have to. You don't have to. It's like two parts of the same movie. It's it's. And then you got the people. Oh, in the manga. Okay. Okay. Movie. Wait. You can't unless say, you can't say that unless right. it was a spinoff of Blade. So I guess you the had the word the is band, band, while the other part of the word, which is comic, is being was she in Blade? She wasn't in Blade. Can't say. I'm name. sorry. It's a spinoff of Daredevil. Excuse me. Which was. That's a different conversation, Gene. I hear you. But come on, you it's the same. I mean, it's the same actress. At least they tried to. You know, Rotten Tomatoes gave it a ten percent, right? They tried. To what Electra? Yeah. Jesus Christ! Ooh. A ten? Time I'm not watching it. You watch the movie ten percent of the time. That's pretty. High. If you look I at all the fucking, Electra? I haven't seen it. There was nothing in my right mind that was going to allow me to see that movie. Her villains were pretty terrible. There was a guy with like a wolf tattoo and would come out of his chest. He made the tattoos come alive and shit. But Ooh, that's not pretty good. I mean, I'm not gonna say she was Japanese, but she she can look it. Some Jennifer Garner just not right. Okay, they cast the wrong person. I don't know what to tell you. They t- t- they cast the wrong. Person. They what? Well, come on, they, they could, cast come Berry. on. Like, for real, they keep casting Holly Berry for these roles. They shouldn't. I don't know why silly. Not that it makes a difference. This is that's a it's conversation for another the, time. Don't just say Catwoman doesn't make a difference. Okay, I don't like Catwoman, but I'm not saying she don't matter. She makes a difference to Batman. She doesn't make a difference anywhere else. She does not matter unless it revolves around Batman and Gotham City. Who know where the fuck she was? What was the bitch in um, Catwoman? In whatever Batman, city she was in. Who's the Catwoman? What's her name? She yeah, has Catwoman. to. Okay, now she's not Japanese. I'm sorry, she's fucking Greek. Oh, that's fine. So, so Jennifer Garner was she's Greek. White. She she looks oh, no, exotic. Not, she looks exotic. Looks like she was fucking terrible for that role. That's good, yeah, I don't know. She was kind of all right. She kind of all right. In Alias, I used to watch that show. Okay, yeah. Don't look at me any type of way. The fact that I like Alias. Anyway, okay. Let's can we not go? Can we not deal with the last Now, Constantine. What's next after that? And it was good. It was good. Keanu came back after sure. a stint of Neo Keanu roles. Neo is spelling demons. That's, that's entertaining. Neo is spelling demons. Yeah, he was dope. Y'all can't find Yes, Neo was dope. You're in the show. He added like... <laughs> this, 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 one of the two... Shut up, man. Did he add like Keanu Reeves in that movie? Because he yeah. likes doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. Yeah. He was he's an asshole, though. Which he was an asshole in three in uh, Street Kings. And sure, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie Buff was in that movie. Sure, and he was an asshole in fucking Speed and whatever. He was an asshole on speed. Really? Yeah, he was an asshole. Yeah, he's he's just doing that. his job. No, he's no, no. But he's doing his job in all his movies. He's just being an asshole about it. He's, he's, nah, a, he's nah, stern. So, he's stern. Did, that, nah, did that save... Did that, did that stall the DC comic book universe? Or did that just... It was, it was Vertigo. It, it was DC comic slash Vertigo. Yeah, but I mean, it's still it just one of the flaws. It's not a DC. What ha- okay, what about Son of the Mask? That was next after that. Ooh. Jimmy Kennedy was... Stop, no. That doesn't count. That's just, you know, he ain't got his hands up in the air like, no, nah, he ain't touching it. He no, you, you love Jimmy Kennedy, right? <laughs> Who loves Jimmy Kennedy? He had a show. That show is mighty canceled. Get out of here. A lot of his shows, I think his career is canceled, but that's just me. <laughs> I don't want to go on air saying that, but I just did. But no. whatever. But I anyway, heard of Jimmy Kennedy in a really long time. It was a sequel, you know that? Not relevant. So, you, they had a... That was a sequel to the Jim Carrey movie. Yes, yeah. and that took 11 years for that sequel to come out. Damn. <laughs> no. The only, the, only longer se- the only longer sequels I heard of was probably like Bad, uh, Boys. Bad Boys. That took about 10, 12 years. For it's coming out with three, right? Toy Story was like what? Toy Story didn't take that long. It was like nine years. I don't think it took that long. Toy Story 2 came out in 2002, right? It could have. It might have been earlier than that. But but Toy Story 3 came out. Other than that, 
I, 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 after I after Jamie it. Kennedy, right? Okay, okay so longer. that that officially kills his career. It was Avengers: A Sharp Boy and Lava Girl in 3D. That was terrible. That you was know terrible. who was in that? You if fucking, you like sharp, if you like butt naked and then you like a rook dude was in it. What's his name? What? The fucking butt naked boy. Jason. I would say Justin Nichols. That's not just Nichols. He was from Twilight. Something Lautner. What's his first name? Taylor Lautner. Oh my god, he was in that movie. After that, it was Batman Begins. Yes, the best. I'm not yes, that one. Yes, you saved Batman. <laughs> thank you. Yes. yes, thank you. You fucking. Thanks, Batman. Christopher Nolan. Jesus. Fuck thank you, you. Light Skin. You fucking Light Skin. <laughs> so. Listen, that's the that's my favorite one out of this Christopher thank Nolan you Batman. Saved us. You so, what? what uh, okay. It's my ass. Okay, so he had the white right source support. material. Who is Plastic Batman? Is he the first director to use actual source material? In yeah. those years, besides Sam Raimi and Spider Man, yeah. and Christopher Nolan, Reese Cox. I don't think it's Reese Cox. Well, not Sam. I mean, Sam Raimi yeah, was close true. with it because you know, Gwen Stacy came first. But that being was out. You can't just say I'm gonna make a Batman movie. movie. What's his name? It's gonna be fucking James Taylor. Like put some effort into it. I don't make a Batman movie. I'm not gonna say he did, but what's he his, did. What's the alter ego? Man, he's gonna be James Taylor. He's gonna work at the fucking Foot Locker down the street. <laughs> so did you know? <laughs> After Batman Begins, and nobody really appreciated for what it was worth. It was the best one. Too. After that, it was fucking Fantastic Four. Oh, and that's a bad. I movie. dare you to watch both of them. I dare you to watch one and, and two. No, watch I watched two for free and still wanted my money back. <laughs> but you didn't pay. Okay, so <laughs> Batman Begins made three hundred and seventy-two million dollars. You know how much Fantastic Four made? How much? Was it more? Three, Three hundred thirty million dollars. So it wasn't that far off, really. So. How did it make? But it still made more. How did it still make? Because pe- people don't understand what I'm saying about the superhero high. You see a superhero movie as a superhero fan. You didn't have anything for superhero. You didn't have anything yeah, for fucking ooh, year. Man. You didn't have anything for oh, a they, year. They thought it was the start of a trend of good movies, and they saw it and got disappointed. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, this is a conspiracy against the comic book superhero fan genre. And then you this came out with Scott High. Movie. So what's your point? Yeah, they just try to prolong it for as long as they can. Gene, I understand. Just, uh, I thought we weren't going there. I thought we weren't going there, man. What? We're not going there. Brought the C word, man. What? Comic? You can't say that, man. That's so. You know they don't use source material. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> man. That's, no, no, you can't say those two words together. Fuck you me. know when the casting yeah. was right, except for Sue Storm. That's about it. What? Jessica Alba was not no she's, mom she's type. A she's a nasty. Sue. She's a nasty Sue Storm. You're right. You're absolutely right. Everything else was cool. She was not no mom type. The way they got their powers was. She looked about nineteen. About the way they did get their powers, but Doom, Doom on the ship with them. But you know the way they portrayed <laughs> oh, portray women. Doom was cold. there. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Doom, Doom turned into fucking steel. Like what? Electron, <laughs> the electron. What was it? Electron. His body was burning away. His skin and turned him into fucking steel. You don't remember doing it? But it's not even a costume in that movie. It's it wasn't a costume. That's that's that was his fucking skin, and he wore a fucking green towel on his. Wait head. a minute. So when they fucking zapped his clothes off, he was butt ass naked. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, what? And we should have been ready His skin was bur- his, his his hair was falling out, and it's fucking. But wait. But wait, 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 wait. The part I don't get was the fucking part. Fucking straight as a pin now. Wait, the fucking the fucking guy when he was transforming, his fucking hair was falling out and his skin was turning metal. But he still had to wear that fucking mask on his head. I was like, what? (laughs) They still had to wear the helmet. He said the way the hell was on his head, but the rest of his body was turning metal. He had on a cloak and pants. Cam, he was cool. He covered that part of him up. He didn't even wear drawers anymore because he didn't have a dick anymore. So what was the point of wearing fucking clothes? He just, he just, he's, <laughs> he's fucking just all metal, dead. all metal, everything. He's never going to get that's any fucking clothes. Don't put on any clothes. That's draws. unconfirmed. Let's fucking go. You didn't fuck that up not one time in that movie. So Do you, you know, want to refer to that? Show me a point where dude actually fucked that No. Anywhere. Just anywhere. No. In the next movie, he will. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that next movie that came out. We'll get to it. <laughs> We'll get to it. I'm not talking about that. I love Silver Surfer, man. I love Norman. Okay. Man, man. After that was fucking was Sky High, terrible. which was okay. It was okay. For yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, because it's Disney, and Disney don't make bad movies. Right? <laughs> v for Vendetta came out. That was also under, underrated. Underrated. Movie. I saw it was six times. I didn't know that. Six yeah. times, and I saw it fucking once, and yeah, it's just important. like, okay, whatever. Yeah. I-, I watch a lot of movies over and over again. After that, DC 
Bounce back and X Men last fucking stand came out. What the fuck you was that? that movie? I, mean, it was I was highly disappointed. I'm that movie made that movie made five hundred million dollars. How dare you? Fuck. It's more than Batman. It's more than fucking Fantastic. And we did make more. Cause Batman Begins was boring and slow. <laughs> and it was just like slow. I got, like, I got I'm fastball play. special. Mm, open to see fastball special. There you go. Yeah, we yeah. gave you a taste. They, what Christopher Nolan did was gave you a taste of something you wasn't ready for yet. You, you wasn't ready, ready for this realism. You saying Christopher Nolan should have directed all the comic book movies? No, 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 no. no, no. I'm saying he was giving you a taste of something. He was about to change the game on you and was giving you a taste. You of he was slow. He was fucking late. He got more money. This is yeah. I got something good for you. It's it's it's, it's coming. But still, I'm I saw X Men Three. That was appreciate. so hype. I was like, yeah, they're gonna bounce back from two. And they're gonna be hot. And Scott, Scott died. <laughs> and I was like, man, I'm about to walk out of this bitch. Hold on. <laughs> no, 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 no. He can't. He gonna come back. He did I waited that, that whole movie and still didn't all come screen. back. Oh, it's great. He died all screen for what? For what? He scratched a lot. For what? That movie was terrible. <laughs> All right, this, you, you, do, do you know, like, fucking, Wait, but, fucking Brett Ratner made this fucking movie? Because Brian Singer was making Superman Returns, who had James Marston in it. But that who was like Bob movie. Who died off screen? Mm. You know, so Brett. Phoenix put him in an alternate universe. <laughs> it made him the love interest of Lois Lane. And it's the and badass it's Superman powers. Returns. Fucking, oh my God. fucking Brett Ratner. Hey, about that. did you, movie. did you know, mm-hmm. did you know, mm-hmm. you know, some of the mutants that were in that movie that you really didn't see, but he said they were in there. I'm gonna let you know some of these fucking mutants. Hold on, give me a second. Now you know Juggernaut was a mutant in there. Just to let you know. Nah, man, Cal- man, man, hey, Cal- Callisto was in that movie. Sidorak, he's a you know you know Trash was fucking Bill Duke. Hey. Wait, what? Trash was Bill Duke in there for some odd reason. Wait, huh? The the the, the president the president had no name. Mm-hmm. He was just the president. President. The president. <laughs> so oh, and fucking uh Stan Lee was water hose man in the credits. I don't like Stan Lee being in all these movies. I, yeah, I think be. this is saying Stan Lee's like number hey, one. Hey, guess what? Like Jubilee him. was in that movie. <laughs> when? <laughs> when? <laughs> find it, find me <laughs> fucking <laughs> Cyrus was in the movie. Fucking Fat was in the movie. Or, you know, like <laughs> the guy that sat down. Yeah, Psylocke's in the movie. Remember, he was really Where fat, and then he like Psylocke's in the movie. Where was she at? I don't fucking in the know. bathroom. Arclight was in the movie. Who? Kid Omega's in the movie. He was the Asian guy, the porcupines. Wait, no, but, but he's an Omega level meeting. Yeah, with psychic abilities, but he's the Asian. And where we <laughs> yeah, he got blown up by st- wait no. no he got blown up by the Phoenix. Remember they they came out the building and they fucking got turned in pixel. Oh, okay. I guess he did. Yeah, oh, Spike was in the movie too. You know he's throwing them fucking shits at Wolverine's face. Oh, that was Spike. And they yeah, took him out and threw him back at him to kill him. Evil. <laughs> Mexican movie. Ah, dead. Okay. A lot. Of, uh, I don't know. I don't know what that movie was trying to do. I don't. I don't know. When did that movie take? Pl- when did these movies take place? Modern. I had no idea what you what that movie is about. <laughs> the Wolverine was not a good movie. And you saw the end of the Wolverine, though, right? I did see the end. Wolverine of the fucking terror. That's what X Men Three was about. That's all it was about. Yeah, that's all it was. <laughs> and that's and it just prolonging it. Mean, oh my god! I just want to be over like Naruto. Oh that's god! X Men First Class. I don't. I, I, third Class. Whatever the fuck. I don't know. Last stand. Last stand. That was a bad movie. Iceman vs. Pyro and fucking Terrible. Leech was in there and then fans had to vote Beast to game in the movie they chose Beast and it, it was a good Beast but it's just like well, why why just in there for the why you were there Beast where were you the last where were you the first two movies the bathroom with fucking Simon I really do like their choice for Beast though I really did too until he did nothing they give Colossus something to do you know what he's doing in the second movie fucking Karen, his big, big screen TV. Oh, I'm Colossus. In the second movie. Karen's TV. Oh, I'm Colossus. Let me the cable guys ball. came in. Karen's fucking oh, TV. It was a big me. fucking TV, too. Who TV was that? His? He found it on the sidewalk somewhere and just started to bring it up. That was a fat fucking TV. They don't play it. Yeah. Terrible. Okay, at the at the Marvel Comics failed with that, but it didn't fail. It made half, it made half a billion dollars. So. Who? It's fucking... 
X-Men was the last thing. That's the last thing. Superman Returns came out and somebody actually gave this movie 100 out of 100. That, that means zero man. fucking flaws. That's, I don't oh know how much, money, how much money this Can movie is. $391 million. When did that movie come out? 2006. Same year as X-Men last day. That movie was really bad. It's so boring. And I didn't... It is so you know, boring. Zero. Is, you know zero bad. flaws? It is un- it's just so I was in high school boring. Boring. He doesn't do anything that whole movie. He doesn't No disrespect movie. to the guy That plays Superman But he looked autistic <laughs> <laughs> uh, He looked like an autistic Superman Wait, wait. Superman No, Brandon Roth No, it can't. he didn't look like He didn't look autistic He had to stare Every time he just Every time he just had a stare He just had this Fucking stare When, like, he, when he stared in his son's room He just No emotion Just his son was autistic in the movie, wasn't he? Yeah, he's slow in that one. <laughs> oh my god. Kim, he was crazy. slow. And then he's like <laughs> He was slow. But he stabbed him with a kryptonite. He stabbed him with kryptonite in his back. He got it was stuck in his back. And he was on a kryptonite fucking island. But he left a crypt- kryptonite he left it, yeah. island from the fucking yeah. ocean bedrock and threw it into the sun. Yeah, How? Yeah. And then they couldn't fucking Perform surgery on him? Same person that beat Goku. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, that was the one that beat Goku. He had platform boots. Can we not talk about that either? Yeah. Did you see the platform boots? The whole movie. Did, did you see the platform boots? He stopped the plane. And then he fucking... That scene was it. awesome. And the guy shot him in the eye with a fucking... Uh, I like that scene. And that, I like that scene. That, 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 that was the whole movie. That was it. That was the whole movie. Get out of here. And that car. The runaway car didn't hit anybody? They showed that commercial. They showed that... That's still that scene in the commercials. They the showed all the scenes until the commercials. Lois Lane was in the rest of their movie. You didn't need to see the movie to see the best part. So I didn't know she was TV. Lois Lane in the movie. All I kept seeing was Superman. It's a reporter bitch number one. Okay, and then we go to next year. Next year, 2007. All right, fresh year. Let's try this fucking superhero movie again. Then we have Ghost Rider. Oh. I mean... I like that movie. No, that movie's fucking bad. It, oh, you want to watch it? No. No. It, mm. No, at the time. First of all, it had Nick Cage in it. And I was like, alright. Nick yeah, Cage has bad movies and he has good movies. So, we'll see what it lies no. in it. No. No. I didn't like... I didn't like what he was fighting in there. It's just... No part of that movie. Actually, I don't really remember the movie. I knew when he was like, underwater fighting the sea demon thing. He turned on the Hellfire and beat Hellfire, him. Hellfire, he beat that guy. And then he, he beat the, beat the Earth demon with like a truck or something. He beat the wind guy. He beat the fucking... I knew, I know Gus liked that movie for some reason. That's why we went to see the movie, wasn't it? We gotta see it again. No. No. No, no I'm not seeing two. No. You have to watch two. I'm, I'm watching the first one. For the first time in my life, I fell asleep in the movie. Guess what came out at the Ghost Rider? Spider-Man 3. Mmm. Your favorite yeah. movie. It's, it, your favorite it's my favorite. I thought it would, I thought it would be my favorite movie too, and it was just like, and what the Eric fuck Gorman is this? Was like, what did they do? Who, 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 who did they Sandman was just like, was being, uh, you know, Sandman can't fly, right? You don't know that. If Gar can make his singer fly, now you're taking. Uh, it. <laughs> but you know, he can't fly with it's his singer. It's a right? manga thing, Rick. We're not doing that right you now. You know, he can't fly. You know, in like the Sinister Six, they had to like, Vulture had to like carry him. Carry Sam? Yeah, he had to carry Sam in. <laughs> <laughs> it was real. It's the most ridiculous thing I ever saw. It's just Probably like a dumb truck. I gotta get it. And like they they had to carry Sam to the battlefield. It's just like Vulture, this fucking hundred year old dude carrying his fucking big rock of sand with a fucking green sweater on. I'm like the fuck. He's crazy, bro. You're coming to fight Spider Man? Like whatever. <laughs> I didn't understand. They lost that name. I don't know. It was like, it was like <laughs> their first chance was just like yeah. We could cross it. We could change the game. We could cross these fucking movies, but no, no. They could have. They could have. They could have. They could have just not movies. made it. Well, Marvel well, fucked up three times in a row because after that was Fantastic Four Rise of Silver Surfer. And it was, was just like, what the fuck? The Johnny Storm Silver Surfer scene was dope. <laughs> it was dope, and that was it. And they showed that in the preview too. So how dare you give us this movie? For the so movie. your power coming from the board. Don't, no, it does not come from yes. the board. The board is an extension no, of itself. No, not in not that one. Movie frame. Source material, remember? I, can we not? Can we, can we please? Yeah, no. Keep going back to it. Stop. Stop with the source material, man. I know my character. I don't know. That whole year was fucked. Because Underdog came out of that. I don't think anybody watched it. Under who? Underdog. The the the, the, dog, the super dog from back in the day? Yes. It was, I think it was live action, too. Shit, man. Okay. Oh, shit. 
I saw those fucking previews. They was like diff- he was in different places and shit. Was that a real movie? He was like it was a dog oh, and shit. And he was okay, after that, after that was, after that was, was, Chicago, after that was Iron Man, one, uh, and I changed the fucking game. I um, still think that was a good movie because it stuck to somewhat of the source material. So you can enjoy it if you just don't know nothing about Iron Man. No one really cared about Iron Man at that point. He was in, he was on a well, I mean, it was during the time of Civil War, so he was I on a he was on a high, so Yeah, I mean so, with, with, with comic book guys, but then well like as a movie goer you get to see Robert Downey Jr. make his comeback. Make his comeback. And then he said a little his career as fucking Tony Stark. Mm-hmm. That was a good movie. One it came out also mm. a pretty decent action movie. <laughs> It had common in it for some mm-hmm. reason. I was yeah. like, whatever. Yeah. I can get past that. I, I remember I was sitting behind you in the movie theater. It wasn't a bad movie. Morgan Freeman was in it. He was in it. Shoot this motherfucker right here. <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was funny. Incredible Hulk came out. and I didn't see that. Movie. It was better than the first one. You can't. You can't. Well, the first one doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> it was tolerable. This one was tolerable, but I was promised this 15 minute fight scene yeah, with a bump. No. I got Hulk in a five minute fight scene doing a Steiner recliner with the fucking chain. Oh, fucking abomination. And I just all I thought was the fucking Scott Steiner rant after that one. So it's just like. It was tolerable. You know what? It wasn't that bad. I, I can't even say. Was it a reboot? Edward Norman. I it was a reboot for the Hulk franchise. I thought and Edward Norton was good. Here we go, with Edward Norton. Like anybody can bring Bruce Banner. I mean, I don't, I don't really think it was just like a Bruce Banner thing because, well, Aaron Banner doesn't count. So, whatever. Mark Ruffalo did a good job bringing Bruce Banner. I liked it. I liked it. Okay, and that was Hancock, which was <laughs> oh shit, his hand job. Pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. Then it was Hellboy. So two. The Golden Army, which for a sequel to Hellboy or for a movie just by itself, just a sequel, sequel to Hellboy. Hellboy, and it was just like it's pretty fucking trippy. So. I guess you watch it if you ain't got nothing else to do. Watch it on a Sunday, maybe a Wednesday. <laughs> that movie was bad. She was pregnant. I think that movie. Huh? Fucking fake ass Neff Campbell. What was her name? Neff Campbell. Firebridge. Yeah, fake ass Neff Campbell. Neff Campbell. Get that. The fake Neff Campbell. Hellboy was alright Like you know And then the Dark Knight Came out and blew Everything out the fucking water Change So it's just game. like People didn't appreciate Batman Begins And then you got the Dark Knight And motherfuckers Just blowing mm-hmm. it fucking wide And that fucking movie They were just in the new game They can't stop They just in the Yeah They changed the game How to Tell a story How to tell a superhero story How to make a billion dollars Yeah How to fucking so they had to listen to Christopher Nolan after that. Yeah, yeah, they did. How to not use so much CG, but you know, use enough to to make it enough passes. to get past. Mm-hmm. So, and then it was just like DC's on top. What are we gonna do? Oh, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring out Punisher Warzone. Ooh, ooh, and, no. it, and that was another reboot. And you know how much money that made? Ten million dollars. Mm, nasty. It was a nice. If it went to straight DVD, I could understand. But this came out of the movie theater, and he, he yeah, he punched a guy's face inward. So, that the Punisher is completely so. Is that I don't if it's Dark Knight was you know some type of medical marijuana, and then I watched Punisher Wars on after that. That would blow my high son vicious. I. I at least it's medical marijuana. And then what happened to DC? They came out to Spirit and then... Um, the same Jack was in their movie. And that was a bad movie still. Well... It made more than Punisher, but whatever. Mm, that's a shame. Cause that and, then, was a and then the rise of Zack Snyder came out of Watchmen, which was pretty acceptable for uh, the people who read the book and all that mm. goodness. So it was it was good. DC DC's David, on a rise. My man Dave explained that movie as... That movie had everything. It had action. It had love. It had sex. It had death. It had fucking triumph. And it had fucking deception. It had blue penis. <laughs> he was butt ass nigga. Yeah. He was butt ass nigga. And people felt some type of way about that. Mm-hmm. When he was like grew big and like whatever. Anyways, after that, Marvel was like, yeah, we know we fucked up with Punisher Warzone. That's why we got X Men Origins. Wolverine. And I was like, alright. 
Hugh Jackman secured his career as Wolverine. Yeah, and Ryan Reynolds probably ruined his Marvel career after that. But whatever. That movie was really bad. You know how bad? Really fucking bad. It was really shit. Terrible. They had CG ladders in there. Why would you need a CG ladder? You ain't got CG fucking claws. Why would you need a CG ladder? He fucking ladders? blew up a helicopter. He... Blew up a helicopter with his claws. I couldn't. I couldn't deal. You can't take this. I couldn't deal with the. He was fighting Everett. He was fighting Agent Zero. We're not allowed to use real comic book names. Technically, it would be Maverick. Well, technically, it was Agent Zero in that fucking movie. (laughs) Who did that backflip over a ten foot fence? But whatever. This is guy from. Like, all right, Deadpool's in the movie. They have Ryan yeah. Reynolds as Deadpool. Secure this role perfect, as Deadpool. Dude. Perfect fucking sense. And then they sold his mouth shut. So Sabretooth, the Sabretooth Wolverine relationship. I like I like uh, Lee Lee Shriver as Sabretooth. I, just I like that Sabretooth. I like that Sabretooth. Sabretooth. I like that Sabretooth. I like that Wolverine. Oh, thank you. Then I don't like what I am. I like what I am as an artist. As an actor, and then oh, Gambit's in the movie, cool, and then he was in the movie for five minutes, and it was like, what the fuck? He was in the movie. He flew um, just like another color. Okay, yeah. So that was another downer from Marvel. So how Marvel coming bounce back? I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna make Iron Man two, and that was fucking terrible. That was also down. How about Terrence Howard? Your your. You needed that him. ain't Terrence Howard. That's Don Chu. They got rid of him. Oh. You needed him. But in between that, they made Kick Ass, and that was an amazing movie. You know why? They stuck to the fucking book. Source material. Mm-hmm. But that's not talking about that, right? But if you didn't read the book, you could also enjoy the movie for what it was. Which was not a superhero movie. That was not a superhero movie. Like right. Super, which nobody never saw. I suggest you guys look that movie. Which nobody ever saw. And it made 324. That was Three hundred twenty, three hundred twenty-four thousand. That's how you say it. Three hundred twenty-four thousand dollars. Yeah. Three hundred twenty-four million dollars. Can you? Million or thousand? No. That's no. That's no. That's no. Super. Super. Yeah. Yeah. Made three hundred twenty-four thousand yeah. dollars. That sounds like a weird number to say. That is not. Oh, okay. That's not a lot of money. Whatever. That's because nobody. I said nobody saw it. Oh. So we're going. So then Iron Man Two came out. I was like. What the fuck again? Because make you work play Whiplash, and I was like, "What?" And then, he was trying to come back, Cam. You know, he, he had the wrestler. What the fuck? All right, man. You know, and the wrestler was a good movie. Yeah, but then all right, Robert Downey Jr. had Iron Man, and then he had fucking uh, Sherlock Holmes. You can't. That's, that's not. Yeah, fair. that movie with um. Jamie Foxx. Fox. Yeah. Due date. That yeah. That's more towards like the Iron Man two. The movie where he was time. blind and fucking. Oh, that movie. Yeah, that yeah, that movie. I forgot. But then after that, was, but then after that was Green Hornet, which was pretty good for what it was. I didn't see that. Movie. And then, you know, the second part of Marvel Phase One came out, which was Thor, and I thought it was like really fucking bad when I saw it. But the three D was really fucking bad. Cause I, was, I was excited. I mean, how do you the know? parts that you needed the three D, they were so fucking dark. In that ice, they was fighting. There was no sun. Camera. I just like how am I supposed to see this? And then I watched it again, and it was like, oh, it wasn't that bad. It was pretty fucking good. I thought it was good the first time I saw it. I thought it was. Funny. And the second time Terrible. I saw it, I still thought it was good. Although y'all Marvel's talking coming back. shit about the Dark Knight Rises, but we're gonna talk about like that. that. And then Marvel's coming back. Marvel's coming we're back. They come out X Men First Class, which was a really good fucking good movie. Even though they put Havoc in there and fucking Lady yeah. Kravitz's daughter yeah, in there, so, but, so. whatever. I can look past the fucking non fucking source material on that because they made a good movie. And then DC was like, "Yo, we need to bounce back. We making Green Lantern." And I was like, "What the fuck?" And they got your boy Deadpool. And they got Deadpool to play. So you don't use Nathan Fillion, but you can use his voice for the Green Lantern parts of the Justice League movies. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to use him for fucking Green Lantern. If you put a mask on him, he will look just like how. Jordan, my God. Probably. But then again, definitely. Like, you haven't seen his hair. It's all. It's 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 perfect. He was born if you look at New Fifty Two, born to play this role. Is that's that's yeah. that's him. That's fucking him. So why get Ryan fucking Reynolds to do it? Cause he's so good. <laughs> that's <laughs> <where we're laughs> sure he was. He was so good. Shut up. We gotta get this guy. Fucking Ryan Yo, you're that guy to do it. 
I've never seen somebody play a multiple bad roles and just ask himself <laughs> and get keep getting roles. That's like what we need somebody for this role. We need Ryan Reynolds. I thought we need Al Jordan. No, we need no. fucking Ryan Reynolds to play Al Jordan to play Ryan Reynolds. I was like, what? Did you see Blade Trinity? Did what you see Blade Trinity? It was amazing. And now you're doing it in RIPD, which is like... Call him right now. I didn't even see we that yet. Yeah. I'm not watching that because it's just Ryan Reynolds. No, Jeff Bridges is in here. Tuesday. Tuesday, we're going to no. see it. No, because I'm going to see fucking... Uh, some fucking movie. Right. You ain't going to see shit. No, see what R. came R. out R. Friday? Um, the Wolverine? No. <laughs> <laughs> um... Two guns. I'm saying two guns. Oh uh, right, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying two guns. But back to the topic. Right. Okay, so after that was Captain America, and I was very skeptical about that because they had fucking Chris Evans play Cap, and I was like, okay, whatever. He, he can't do it. Storm. He was just fucking Johnny Storm. And then he did. Uh, he surprised you. He, he surprised did surprise me. Yeah. It was a good fucking job. Mm-hmm. That was a good fucking movie. Good fucking source material. Switch I mean, ups a little bit, but whatever, it's fine. I didn't like the. Thanks Nazis all day. I mean, I, you, I didn't like the. I didn't like the Disney yeah, part of the movie. Not, yeah, the music. The, um, the music on every scene. It's just whatever. There had to been a forty track exactly. soundtrack for <laughs> that fucking shit. I don't. Know that. that Chronicle came out, which was really fucking good mm-hmm. for what it was. It, was it like, surprised the shit out of me. I was like, and then after that, Marvel was like, we we're just on a high rise. We, 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 we're not gonna release Avengers yet. We'll say that for uh, later on. We got Ghost Rider, the Spirit of Avengers, mm. and niggas gonna love this because we did a lot of switch up in this rated R. No, can you? No. Look up how much the first one made for them to actually want to make a sequel. I did it enough. It, 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 must have, it, it must have did enough. Ghost Rider made two hundred twenty-eight million dollars. Regular Ghost, the first one. Yeah, the second one made one hundred two. Done at thirty-two million dollars. Mm, this true. movie was beyond terrible, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Again, again, <laughs> again. They had Christopher Lambert in it. They had Dries Alba in it. They had Nick Cage ass. playing Nick Cage. People Wait, love. Uh, Dries Alba was just in fucking. He was just in Thor. He was in Thor. But whatever. But then again, it's just like people liked Ghost Rider in that movie. But then it like Nick Cage parts in that movie. That means you just don't like Nick Cage. As and person. then as John, and right. then the Avengers came out, which changed the whole fucking game up. It's like, listen, this is how you make they had Josh Whedon do it, and it's just like, listen, this is how you make a fucking superhero collaboration movie oh, with okay. Iron Man as the main character. Yeah, sure, that's how you do it. What well, he did, I think everybody played Spider-Man. their roles. How they played their roles in the comic book. The first. Ours was really fucking boring, and then that That's invite, that invite was like, "Whoa!" It's not. It's no. It's not even better. Uh, yeah, it's not better. It's, it's definitely not better than the Dark Knight. Then Marvel was like, the Dark "Yo, Knight. we kill it. I can't do it. We gotta kill. We got two movies. The DC's won this year. We killing this fucking game. We killing 2012. We got Avengers and we got Spider Man. And then Spider Man came out, and I was just like, "No." It wasn't a real movie. No. I had so many problems in that movie. I don't know where to begin. Because. That's his top. No great. No. No great power game responsibility. No fucking. <laughs> fuck. Fucking Uncle Ben died over a fucking Yoohoo. I was like, what? No, he died across the street. He went over a Yoohoo. <laughs> over chocolate milk. He died over chocolate milk. Not in the house. Not in this house. Not at his house. Spider Man ordering the weather. No, no bone saw. No bone saw. No wrestling match. No fucking. Those goons were better than Spider Man. The low, and then the crane game, and then the fucking lizard, and it's like Osborne was like a decrepit fool teleporting out the fucking jail. I'm still confused on this day. How did Spider Man get in that fucking car with a carjacker? He knew he was going to jack that car. Yeah. How did he get in that car? Yes, How did he get out of the car? Yes, it seems to be a nice car. Kim can't talk about this right now. No. I have so many problems with that movie. It's no good. He ordered his web shoes online. How the fuck? He ordered the webbing online. He, he, he ordered the webbing online. How much did he make? How much did he make? How much 752 million dollars. That's, that's pretty good. That, that is, is pretty, pretty good. good. The Spider-Man. That's, how much the third Spider-Man movie make? More than that. Mm-hmm. Oh my. 
Jesus. It made eight hundred and something. Thank you. It's okay. Spider and then Dark Man. Knight. And then after that was like Dark Knight Rises came out, and that was by one of the only movies where you could just people sat down and watched it and didn't say shit. They just watched the damn movie. We was quiet as shit in that movie. Yeah, and it was like, yo, that movie's amazing. Then you watch it again, and don't, it's just don't like... Don't do that, Camp. That movie is not bad. It gets worse every time you watch it. <laughs> you start noticing shit, like... And it has... You, you first time you watch it, Bane's like, Bane's decent, and then it's just like, yo, Anne Hathaway can really act. I really believe she was Catwoman. She almost can take on Michelle Pfeiffer. And then you watch it again, and it's just like... She really didn't do much. <laughs> He watched Bane again and just like, was that Bane's really? Was, was that you can't Bane's critique that movie, really, Cam? Real, real plot. Because as because you can't you can't do that because then you can't fucking I can't, I don't critique fucking Spider Man three. You critique it all you want. But That's Sam true. Raimi's Spider Man trilogy as a whole was good. It was. You have to watch all. Okay, three. and then thank you. There you go. And then the game changer for that year was Dread, which I thought was a pretty damn good movie. It only made thirty million dollars. I think they're just riding that fucking main character high of the two big companies. They just didn't decide to want to see Dread. I really like Dread. Mm. It was a good movie. And they go to, they were back to two thousand thirteen this year. You got Iron Man three, which was a letdown. A big fucking letdown. I Wait, did you just say what? What did you say? Iron Man three. Right, Tony Stark one point five. Do not endorse. Do not promote. Do but, not it a, but it made a but it made a billion dollars. I don't give a fuck. Cam, people were still high on that Avengers movie. That's a lot of money. That's For a that, lot of money. I thought the movie was really that's fucking really terrible. That but movie was real bad. Oh, that movie. Was but real people terrible. like it. My God. People thought it was a, a fucking masterpiece. That movie was really terrible, Cam. That movie. Was Hey, hey, you know, Superman Returns is a masterpiece. We all know that. <laughs> right, you got a hundred out of a hundred. You can go home. <laughs> I'll kick you. And then after that was fucking Man of Steel, which was utterly amazing to me. But everybody I didn't like it. I was like, Rick, did you like the movie? Yes. You liked the movie, Cam. Obviously, nah, I was me being like a Batman it. fan and me hating Superman. I still like that movie. It was really fucking good. It, it was, was a good movie. It was Batman Begins. You take away Bruce Wayne and Gotham City. You slap him Superman. So that, that was I like the pacing. I like the fights. I like everything about that movie. I like the guy that played Superman. I like Zod. I, I didn't like the, how pro Lewis Lane was, but whatever. She can get it past as Lewis Lane. It's just, it was a good movie. It was way better than Iron Man 3. People just don't like it. They ain't like the fight at the end. That's how Superman fights. That's how he really fights. You thought fucking Superman turns how he fights? No. No, no. when he fights a on his level, he has to. It looked good. It looked yeah. really good. Man of Steel was really good. Iron Man 3 was really fucking bad. That movie was. Then we saw the Wolverine. And that movie was not good at all. Mm-hmm. Counted three fight scenes. Boring as fuck. Scenes. You know how. Mo- uh, you know. You know how boring you know how boring a movie is when your knees like get cold and not lock in place because you just sitting there waiting for something to happen. Oh, you mean how people move their legs and their body? And they move their legs and their arms and they twist their body around when yeah. the movie is good. They don't, so they if, if, if a different position. Than if you start. watch Man of Steel and you're a fan of DC, you will not get another DC movie for maybe like the next. Two years. Because you got Batman versus Superman. Um, Batman yeah, and Superman. that ain't coming out till like maybe 2015. I mean, you always dream After that, you got Kick Ass 2, which is finally a Marvel movie. That's decent. Then you got Thor 2. Then you got Cap 2. Then you got no, Iron no, Man no, 2. No, 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 then, I mean, you got Spider Man 3. Then you got X Men. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Fantastic Four. Age of Ultron. That's all in the future, so. I'm not looking forward to this Thor movie. And no Spider Man movie? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, there's Thor four Man. more Spider-Man movies coming. Up. So, I'm fucking like You just got to deal. How long? Did, how they Sony owns Spider-Man for, and they own him indefinitely, correct? They're gonna keep him indefinitely. <laughs> he ain't got no words left. My guy, just leave him alone. So this never gonna be a new Avengers movie. <sighs> no, they. Whatever. He's never gonna be in it. That's what I'm saying. No. 
They still got to work out this Quicksilver problem. Who owns Quicksilver? Apparently, Quicksilver is going to be in the X Men movie and the Avengers movie, but they don't want their Quicksilver to be like. They don't want the Avenger Quicksilver. Who owns Quicksilver? Nobody gives the fuck. Nobody <laughs> owns Quicksilver to care. It's just like, yo, if you're gonna be in Avengers, you can't reference anything about the X Men. If you're gonna be in the X Men movie. You can't reference anything about the They can't do that. The yes, they can. No, they they are doing it. They can't two different actors. No, no, they can't do that. But no. they yes, it's two different. It's two different people playing Quicksilver. In two different universes. In two different <laughs> studio universes. Yeah. So that's gonna be awesome. I don't know how they're gonna do it, but they're gonna do it. Oh my God! Why? See, that's that. That's that book. That's that shit we're going. That fucking mutant and fucking Avenger thing. <laughs> you just gotta deal. And you're gonna deal. I don't have to support the franchises anymore. Okay? More movies to come. More podcasts to come. Yeah, man. I guess the next movie is fucking kick ass too, which is like gonna be great. And then. We gotta start doing just, you know, whenever we see We'll see what Thor does. We gotta do it, man. There was not going to be amazing. Yeah. It's, uh, let's face that. It's not going to be amazing. Mm-hmm. It's going to be fucking Thor, too. And they're going to kill Natalie Portman. And some shit, some other shit's going to happen. He's going to have a nice action scene. And, and then Thor's going to be the main character in Avengers, too, right? No. Oh, okay. It's still going to be Tony Stark, because, you know, who knows how the fuck they're going to create fucking Ultron. Without Tony Stark got to create him, right? Yeah, because without Hank Pym, there's no creative for Ultron. Maybe he'll be in the movie. Oh, he's... Is it because he's a wife beater? Is that why? Who fucking gives a damn? You don't have to put that in a movie. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> right, Rick, right. Who's your part of this? It might be relevant. Mm. Yeah, I suppose. No, it's not. Whatever, man. I'm, I'm... I'm sorry, man. Without, you know, Christopher Nolan, man, I wouldn't be into his comic book superhero movies, man. Cause I didn't like the Avengers. So thing. much faith in my guy. I do, man. You just got a deal. Oh, I'm a hardcore fucking deep Batman fan, man. I'm gonna do what I do. And I wanna fucking watch like the previous video. I fucking watch fucking. I said, and I quote myself as best as I can. It's my current state of mind. I fucking watch fucking Batman, Robin, fucking several, several, uh, too many fucking times for me to count. I watch that fucking movie. That movie is bad. And I watched it for what it was. Because it was was at the heart of his career. Yeah, whatever, whatever the critics you, you're talking about, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about right now. But <laughs> as, as far as I'm concerned, I saw that movie a lot. A, a whole, a hell of a whole lot. That would make it good. Yeah, whatever, man. It, <laughs> it makes it what it is, man. It, was it makes, bad, man. makes it a movie you saw a lot. Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> and, and, and I'm not ashamed to say that because... Well, my third one's in there, huh? She was. And I thought she was She was bad. She was a bad little, you know, little one drunk. But... No, I still think Uma Thurman is a bad one.